So in this video, I'm going to explain what crossing over is. So crossing over is something that occurs in prophase 1 of meiosis. So remember, meiosis is when you're trying to generate gametes for sexual reproduction. And so you're not going to have crossing over during mitosis. So that's an important distinction. And so crossing over is defined as the exchange of chromosome segments between non-sister chromatids. So as you can see here, this chromatid and this chromatid are sister chromatids. And this chromatid and this chromatid are sister chromatids. And so essentially in the end, what you're going to get is a new combination of genes that you distribute to the gametes that doesn't, is not necessarily found in either parent. And so as a result, this can contribute to increased genetic diversity, which is always a good thing. All right, so now let's look at how this happens. So I have wrote some genes on there, let's say capital gene A capital gene B, so these are the same, and then these are lowercase a, lowercase b, and so I have the alleles written there. And so pretty much what's going to happen is during prophase 1, these two chromosomes, so remember that this big X thing is a chromosome, and these two, the blue, and the red, they're homologous chromosomes. So the homologous chromosomes are going to come together during prophase 1 of meiosis, and they're going to attach. So after they attach, it creates essentially like a four-sister chromatid thing. Um, so think of each one, each half of the X as a chromatid. So it's going to create a structure called a tetrad or a bivalent. And then the point at which they attach right over here is called the chiasmata. And so I'm not going to get into the exact mechanism of how you break apart the chromosomes and um, the nucleic acids and exchange the genetic material because that's a little bit more complex but essentially what's happening is that pretty much as you can see these parts exchange so this blue chromosome here gets a piece of the red and the red gets a piece of the blue so in the end as previously stated um, you're gonna have a different combination of genes than either parent so if you see if you imagine the blue ones from your dad the red ones from your mom your dad only has capital A, capital B, and your mom only has little a, or lowercase a, and lowercase b. So then in the end, you get a sister chromatid over here that has capital A and lowercase b, which none of these parents had. And then you also have a sister chromatid with lowercase a and capital B, which none of the parents had. And so then um, as you go through meiosis, you're going to give one sister chromatid, essentially, so one half of the X, into each gamete. So let's say this is going to be one gamete over here, the capital A, low, capital B. This is going to be another gamete, so capital A, lowercase b. This is going to be another gamete, lowercase a, capital B. And then this is going to be another gamete, lowercase a, and lowercase b. So pretty much in the end, you get a lot of different combinations of genes, and this will contribute to the genetic diversity. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video about crossing over and recombination. I hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.